So in addition to using TouchOS SeaBridge with one client, you can use it with multiple clients just as easily. So to show off some of those features, here I have the Teleoperation tab page loaded. So the Teleoperation tab page has a master control button. When clicked, it will make one iPad the master and display its IP address on all the other iPads. That means it is the only one allowed to publish on the command velocity topic. So here, if I move on this iPad, the other one follows along. So this is for a holonomic robot, like the PR2, where forwards and reverse velocities are mapped up and down, left and right to left and right, and also angular to this fader here. When you let go, all of them return to center. This iPad will have no control, and none of the other clients will follow it. Now, if your robot isn't holonomic, you can simply click this button, and it'll switch to differential. That means that forward and backwards are mapped up and down, and an angular turn to the left or right is mapped to left and right. Additionally, there's a turbo button for getting that extra little boost. And then if the master iPad navigates away from the current tab page, the other one will reflect that and it will return to zero. This is a safety feature so that if the user carelessly navigates away, the robot won't spin out of control. In addition to iPads, you can make custom layouts for iPhones of two different sizes. So this is the Diagnostics tab page for the iPhone, as well as the Diagnostics tab page for the iPad. It has the same features, but it's a bit smaller, so you can keep it in your pocket.